Chase CEO Jamie Dimon is not optimistic that the U.S. economy will achieve a soft landing. On Monday, the most influential banker in the United States told investors that the country's leadership is in full challenge. Demon was particularly concerned about the federal government's large and continued deficit spending, as well as the need for countries like the United States to remilitarize and continue to build green infrastructure, all of which is likely to keep inflation higher than investors expect. While some economists wonder if the Federal Reserve will be able to meet its projection of lowering rates three times this year, Diamond warned about the possibility of rates rising to 8% or more. The Fed's benchmark rate is currently in a range of 5.25% to 5.50%. These significant and somewhat unprecedented forces make us remain very cautious, he said. President Biden criticized corporate tax breaks, advocating for fairer contributions from corporations. However, he has signed three major bills providing significant tax breaks and subsidies to large corporations, constituting the largest corporate welfare package in history. Despite his statements against big companies, Biden has facilitated significant tax breaks and subsidies for industries such as semiconductor, solar, and automaker. Key legislation includes the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act of 2021, which increased federal subsidies by $548 billion, the Chips and Science Act of 2022, providing $54 billion in subsidies with a significant portion directed to semiconductor companies, and the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022, which distributed $868 billion in energy subsidies, primarily benefiting big corporations. Biden is a hypocrite.